what the Bible says about dreams and visions. When Jesus was brought before Pilate, there are a number of things that basically happened. You know very well in uh, Matthew 27, 16 to 19, the wife of Pilate actually had a, a dream. And her dream was to leave Jesus as an innocent man. But remember what had brought Jesus. That is why we are saying that the devil can also come through your mind in a time of rest. So it depends what is the main thing behind this. And when she had that dream, she came to Pilate telling him that it was not right for Jesus to actually be crucified. But remember that they wanted to stop risk fiction to happen. Had Jesus not gone to the cross, would not have had a fulfillment of 2 Corinthians 5.21. Him who knew no sin was made sin. So Jesus had to go upon the cross of Calvary. And remember our wage of sin would not be paid by any other person other than Christ. And remember John 1.29. John said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. So the woman, of course, she had a dream. But the dream was not coming from God. The dream was not coming from God. Why? Because a dream was suggesting that Barabbas should be the one that would be retained and actually Jesus had to be released in one or the other. But one thing we get to know very much is that the devil is very subtle in everything he does. He does things in secret. So the cross was a serious issue that could not be ignored. The new age people, for them they say how you have a dream and a vision. They talk about imaginations. What are you able to see? That's why they actually actually uh, emphasize issues of sitting postures that allow an individual to be in a resting mood so that they can connect with a number of different things. You see that? So we need to see the word of God as the pillar, as actually a canon that we can hold on to because everything God wanted to speak to us is within the book. That is why an individual who does not take the word of God very seriously is an individual that is going to be deceived. Remember, there is no true prophet who used visualization, but the new age doctrine encourages people to use what we call visualization where you sit there and envision and i've also heard of uh, people today going to what we call a born again ministries and they teach them how actually to prophesy where in the scripture do you see where they are teaching people to learn how to prophesy so they give them techniques to get visions from god however the word discourages all of those particular things i want to show you something here from the book of jeremiah chapter 42 and the verse is a uh, seven it says and it came to pass after 10 days that the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. One thing that you understand here is that the word of the Lord would come to people, but people are not sitting there saying, Lord, can you please speak to me? Lord, speak to me. Lord, speak to me. Which direction can I face? This is what is happening today. In each dream and vision, God himself initiated. So, all things to do with our dreams and visions, they were initiated by God, but they were never in one or the other, pursued by the recipient. Today, in most Christian schools like a I've already said in seminars, they tell people to visualize. Even Thomas, who doubted, had to wait. That is what the Bible teaches us. When you study John chapter 20, verses 24 to 28, when Thomas was doubting about the resurrection of Christ, he waited, and as he waited, the Lord revealed himself to him. Let me just show you the last part of it here. In John chapter 20, let us consider verses uh, 26. After eight days, again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said peace be unto you. So what we are saying in each dream and vision God himself initiated and those dreams and visions they were never pursued by the person however God himself initiated it's something we need to learn however today the new age doctrine is showing people that visualization is one of the more powerful way actually having a dream or having God talking to you but remember visualization is one of the powerful ways of how actually occult people actually use for a number of different things that contradict scriptures. It is something that is to do with a metaphysical practice of forming a mental image in the mind by imagination and desires of the heart to change one's reality. That's why we need to be careful of people's books like uh, a man known as uh, Richard Foster, David Yongocho, uh, Jesse Duplantis, all of those people teach a number of different things which are not true. If we are not careful enough and we go after a number of different things that distort the scriptures, we are going to be deceived.